guys and welcome to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to share with you my uh, grocery and dollar store haul. Uh, I bought mostly items for our camping trip. We're leaving camping tomorrow and I just needed a few odds and ends. I already made a menu for my uh, food wise um, for dinners and I had most of the stuff at home. So let me just kind of give you a rundown. So Monday uh, Monday the first night we're having burgers and baked potato uh, the second night we're having steak corn and corn with the salad um, as well as the salad on the first night and then the last night we're just having sausages on a bun with whatever raw veggies that we have left over just to kind of eat them all up um, I have most of all of my veggies except corn already so that's not on here and all of my meat I already have but these are just some uh, loose ends that I needed to to tie up I guess to add to my already existing groceries that I had so I went to Canadian Superstore and I had spent I think it was $170 which totally blew my mind because it was so expensive how much I spent but then I have bought some larger items um, that uh, cost more like four, like fourteen, fifteen dollars. So I think that's why it added up. And I have got some wine too, which in Canada wines like gold. So um, let me go through what I got. So starting with something that's not part of the camping trip, I had picked these up. Um, just for my kids for quick dinner tonight because we're going out for dinner for our anniversary so I wanted something quick for them so they can just make themselves that was a little bit fun and I didn't have any freezer meals or anything left over then I bought a big thing of paper towel oh my goodness go away big thing of paper towel because I need like two rolls for camping trip uh, and um but this, these were, I think these were on sale, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, so here's my corn. And I just went with already peeled and cleaned up just for the ease of things. I got some peanut butter. Um, I have some already and I'll open, but I thought this one I'll take for us. And then I can also uh, fill up the Kong for this guy because this will be his first um, camping trip. He's only six and a half months old i know he looks like a giant but he is still a very little baby we'll see how the camping trip goes <laughs> so i picked up some pots uh just needed i ran out and i wanted to have some for tomorrow morning so i picked up this muskoka rotisserie coffee company medium loon call breakfast blend um, i like this coffee but it's pretty pricey i think this was 17 dollars for 20 and um, I usually just pick up coffee at Costco, but I ran out. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go through the stuff that I got at Zares because there are some stuff from a local deli, too. Then I got some wine. And then got these celebration cookies but these are the only ones they had uh, for s'mores i already have marshmallows and then i also picked up the dark chocolate ones i don't know where my other box went but there should be one more box somewhere and then for the kids i got them some cheddar jalapeno crunch and dorito sweet chili heat as well as just regular doritos and these are my favorite so I thought I'd get myself a little treat. And then I got some Western Original Cream Cheese product. This is, in my opinion, so much better than Philadelphia. It's a little on a pricier side, but uh, we don't use too much cream cheese. Um, but we're going to go and get some wood fire bagels tomorrow morning for one of our breakfasts. So I thought this would be nice to have. And then I also have sour cream for the baked potatoes for the family. And I got some Greek yogurt. I will be sharing this myself and then I'll probably make some peanut butter 
for the Kong for the dog. And then I also got some organic manual grass fed organic milk. This is not typically what I buy, but I like that it's in a uh, just a plastic container. Oh, sometimes I get glass, but theirs doesn't carry glass ones where I live. But they had this one. I didn't want to go to another store. Um, I just like them like this so I don't have to worry about a bag and a milk uh, jug or milk carton that's paper and then gets all wet from uh, the ice. Then I picked up this giant Le Grill Montreal steak seasoning. I will be putting some away for our steak. And I think that's it as far as theirs goes. And I also picked up two cases of water and then I think four or five cases of sparkling water and I think two cases of tonic. So yeah, that's about uh, the extent of that shopping. I can't believe I spent that much money, but I'm trying to think if I forgot something, but for the life of me, I cannot remember if I forgot anything, but I will link it in the com in the description not in the description box in my video if I forgot something that's pretty big but I went through my whole house and I can't see anything that I brought in that I had forgotten but so then I went to Delhi and I picked up some um Gilbert. this is um it's like a bologna kind of thing my kids like that I picked up some liverwurst for the bagels. I know we're weird, we like that kind of stuff. And then I also picked up some horseradish to go with our steak. Holy A furlano cheese. And then I also have some porchetta and some square salami for lunches. I got some cookies for the kids. And I got some more chicken, I got chicken pate, some tuna pate, and salmon pate for the dog. Just to keep him busy while we're eating. And then at a pet food store, I picked up, because we're going to be doing a lot of hiking, and we're going to be taking him. I picked up one of these water bowls to take with us for him, so I can just stick it in my... Um, hiking backpack and I got if you haven't tried the yak cheese I strongly encourage you to try it I picked this one at HomeSense I did buy some at our pet store too but it was much cheaper at HomeSense but this is all natural it only has yak milk cow milk salt and lime juice and it keeps him chewing for a long time and I also got him just beef bully chews um again for a drive up so he he's can chew stuff and be a little bit entertained because it's about a three and a half hour drive and then i stopped at dollar tree as well and i picked up actually this one i don't remember no this one came from zares so i'll just put that there i mean from the superstore so i picked this up so we can spray the bathroom if we go to when we go use it I don't know if they'll actually do anything, but it's worth a try. The showers are closed, so we won't be showering for three days, but uh, we will be spraying the toilets with this. And then I also picked up the hand sanitizer. And I can't remember where I got... Oh, this one came from Walmart. That's right, this one came from Walmart. I thought it would be nice to have it on the site. And then at Dollarama, I got this. If you've never had Dollarama chips, this one is delicious. Their brand. Um, I prefer the Kettle Cook, but I picked up just a, it's a, it's a smaller bag. It's 205 grams. Um, so just uh, that for camping. And then I got some sponges. I needed some measuring cups because I'm going to be making some pancakes. And then... I got tablecloths and I like the wine, uh, vinyl, uh, flannel bag because they um, stay on the table really well. I still put the clips on, but they stay on the table very well. And then I got just a toy and also got the barbecue pork bone. He likes these and all it is is just 
100% natural chew dog love the taste low roasted to perfection and it's pork from your bone got some lysol power and fresh just to clean up some stuff on the campsite if need be and i needed a cutting board and then i picked um, the, these um there are the bath mats because i needed new bath mats for both of our bathrooms and they had them there and i figured for four dollars i can just chuck them because they get so gross so i just i can just chuck them instead of washing them because i find the more i wash them the backing falls apart so that way i can just chuck them and not feel guilty that i spend lots of money on them when they fall apart so this is it hope you enjoyed this uh little haul and i spent forty dollars at Dollarama and uh, this um, so this was $12.99 and this this one was $12.99 as well just to give you an idea and I think this was $6.99 so if you are stopping by my channel for the very first time and you like cooking and uh, meal planning and meal prep grocery hauls then consider subscribing it's free and i post weekly and make sure you turn that notification bell on so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming uploads and those of you returning thank you so much for watching and until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day mm -hmm.